Welcome back, beautiful travelers. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing an update on the Peruvian bills. If you're new to my channel, my name is Steph and I love giving tourists travel advice so they are super prepared and know what to expect when they come to Peru. Many years ago, I did videos talking about the different coins and bills that you can find here in Peru. So if you have not yet seen those videos, I will add playlists up here for you to check afterwards to just look through those old videos and just get acquainted with the previous bills. But in today's video, I am going to be discussing the new bills that came out in 2021. In 2021, El Banco Central de Reserva del Peru, which is the central bank here in Peru, they came out with four new designs for our bills that we use here, okay? So these are the bills worth 10, 20, 50, and 100 soles. Here, this is the design of the bill worth 10 soles. And if you can see here the image, hopefully the camera's focusing, but this image is of this very recognized Peruvian singer called Chabuca Granda. When you actually get this bill in your hand, if you look down here, it'll tell you her name, Chabuca Granda. And on the back of the bill worth 10 soles, you'll have a picture of a vicuña, which represents the richness of the fauna that we have here in Peru or the animal kingdom that we have here in Peru. The vicuña is also the little llama-like animal that you see in the middle of the Peruvian flag on whatever the thing that is in the middle of the flag is called. I don't know if it's an emblem or a coat of arms, but whatever that thing is. Um, that is the vicuña, it's not a llama. And you also see, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's a flower here. This is the Flor de Amancais. The Flor de Amancais is reference to one of Chabuca Granda's songs where she mentions the flor because a lot of Chabuca's songs reference like the beauty of being in Lima and Peru in general. And she just really highlights a lot of beautiful things about Peru in her music. I think I'm gonna do more videos just to highlight the specific story of each of the people on these bills in upcoming videos because I researched this a lot yesterday while I was waiting to try to do my videos but I couldn't because my neighbors were having a party. If you saw my last video, I'll link it up here. You know all about that because I mentioned it towards the end of that video. <laughs> But I did a whole lot of research on the different people on these bills, and I was really impacted by the stories of a couple of them at least. Um, but they were all significant people, and I think it's really important for us to know their history and to know why they are on these bills, because they are people who have left a lasting impact here on Peru, and um, we, we really are grateful to them for so many different things. So I'm going to do an upcoming um, video on... Chabuca Granda, and stay tuned for that. I got a little emotional talking about that just now because some of the stories of these people, especially this guy, they're like really sad and so moving and I am an empath and I feel for the people. So anyway, today on the bill worth 20 soles, we have the image of Jose Maria Arguedas. His name will also be here at the bottom once you have this bill in your hands. I don't know if I can talk about this man without getting emotional because his story is so impactful and inspired me to do these individual videos on the individual stories of each of these people. Um, but it's thanks to Jose Maria Arguedas that we have preserved probably a lot of our culture and history of the indigenous people and stuff because he really fought hard to preserve that and to not have it be neglected, especially because of like colonialism and just like that mindset that people had, I guess, during his time of thinking that the Native American or indigenous person here, native to Peru, was inferior in some kind of way. So he, he did a lot for us, apparently. I haven't studied him in depth, but um, from what I did gather, he really fought hard for us to be still connected to our culture and to elevate the um, indigenous person here in Peru. And um, so that's why he's highlighted and recognized here on this bill worth 20 soles. And on the back of this bill worth 20 soles, you will see a picture of this condor. The condor references one of his um, novels called Yawar Fiesta. And here you have in this pinkish color, this flower. And this flower is called La Flor de Cantuta, which is apparently considered the national flower of Peru and a sacred flower of the Incas. The flower is cultivated in Andean zones such as Apurimac, and so these images here pay homage to Jose Maria Arguedas because of his ties to indigenous heritage. 
Here on the note worth 50 soles, we have Maria Roswarowski, and she was a recognized researcher of Andean people, culture, heritage. And on the back of the note, you'll have the jaguar, which is connected to Andean cosmology. And you'll have here this plant called um, La Puya Raimondi, which is found in the Andes. This Puya Raimondi represents the richness of the flora here in Peru. These things are gigantic. I saw them like 12 years ago when I went to the mountains. And it's connected to Chavin de Huantar ruins in the Andes in Ancash. And so that's the connection to like the Andean culture and stuff that she researched extensively during her time here. Last but not least, we have here Pedro Paulet on the 100 bill note. Again, all their names are found here at the bottom right underneath their picture. And Pedro Paulet basically was one of the first people to conduct experiments with like rocket fuel and stuff like that. And um, I'm going to talk more about him in a future video. But yes, he was a recognized engineer among so many different things. And on the back of this bill worth 100 soles, we have this hummingbird called colibri cola de spatula, which literally translates to hummingbird with the tail of a spatula, which basically means it has a tail that looks like a spatula. Oh, look, you can see the little hummingbird tail, like the uniqueness of the tail. So that's really cool. And we have this special type of orchid here as well, which is apparently is called Phragmipedium covaci. I don't know if I butchered that, but apparently it's considered one of the most beautiful flowers in the world. For these bills, it's similar to the past videos that I've done on how to tell whether you have a real one or a fake one. And so they have, all of them have these kinds of strips on them. So if you move them up and down, left to right, the color should change. Here on this strip, as well as here on this strip, they all have something here and then here in the corner, okay? I just wanted to illustrate that. These things should change in color, okay? They have a strip here and here. And again, the next thing is that once you hold them up to the light and you're able to look at them, you should see like the water mark or something, like the same image of the person on the bill. You should see them here in addition to a little triangle up here that has the number of the note of the bill as well like the the amount of the bill oh man i was just like playing around with these little things and they're so cool like <laughs> okay i can't really show you because I, I don't think you would be able to really see it on camera um but when i move the t the bill worth 10 soles up and down or whatever and the little colors change it's like they have these little bars like this and then they like come in and out <laughs> like when i move it around it's the craziest thing and then the same thing happens for the bill of like worth 20 soles, but this one I can see more clearly. But then when I look at the one worth 50, they have like these weird, it's not a cross. I don't know what exactly the symbol is. It's an Andean thing, but I don't know the name for it. But the crosses change colors. It's the weirdest thing. I don't, do you see it? Isn't it cool? I had to use my back camera for this. So that's basically how you can tell whether they're real or fake. You should also be able to feel if they're especially new bills feel the like ink or something like it's kind of like elevated like you should be able to feel it on your fingertips that it kind of rises above the paper the little lines and again these are made from cotton and so if you're ever in doubt whether it's a real or fake you just crumple it up and if it starts opening up it's because it's cotton if it just stays as is it's because it's paper so as you can see on the back of each of these bills the images of the flora and fauna on the back of these well first of all you can have the names the names of each of these animals or plants are like printed in tiny little print here somewhere on the back for example vicuña is really here you can barely see it <laughs> and then the flower is like over here so you can find the names of these individual plants and animals printed on the back if you want to know but the images on the back as you can tell they are vertical and this is the first time that we have vertical images on our bills these bills were put into circulation on the 22nd of july 2021 these new bills incorporate modern designs new motifs and enhanced security features and pay tribute to prominent figures from our sciences and humanities from the 20th century while highlighting the flora and fauna of peru all right my beautiful travelers if you want more information on these individual banknotes or you want more guidance on how to spot a real banknote from a fake one then I invite you to go to the official website of the Banco Central de Reserva del Peru and I'll link that down in the description of this video for you to go and 
click on the individual bank notes and just find more information and watch their videos so that you can see how to identify a real bank note. All of their information is in Spanish, but I'm sure that the text you can translate to your language with some kind of change in your browser. And the videos are in Spanish though, but you just watch them and you'll be able to follow along, no problem. If you found this video super helpful, please support my channel by giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet already for more content like this, and drop me a comment down below just letting me know what you got out of this video or if you have any questions about Peru or questions about these bills or the individual people that I mentioned. Just any thoughts or things that you want to share with me in the comments below and I look forward to just connecting with you there. If you want to stay in touch with me outside of YouTube, you can always follow me on Instagram and TikTok as Evolving With Stuff. My social media handles will also be in the description of this video as well. And as always, stay curious, keep exploring, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!